Hi there, today we're gonna tie the artificial intelligence. It is a pattern by Greg Senyo. It's also known as the AI. <coughs> Excuse me, we're gonna tie it on a, um, on a uh, partridge shank, 35 millimeter. Here it is right here, 35 millimeter partridge shank. I also often tie it on an OPST 32 millimeter shank. I just have this one ready right now, so might as well use it. It's got an extended wire made of, uh, the pattern actually calls for uh, uh, the Senya wire. I, I'm, using, I'm utilizing the Fireline 30 pound right here to make my extended wire here. I'm gonna tie in a butt here of chartreuse cactus chenille. We wrap forward, we fold her back. I like tying elaborate patterns that require um, composite loops and all, but it's also nice to tie patterns like this that don't take a whole lot of time. At the end of the day, when you're getting ready to go guide again and or fish again, um, sometimes just a quick and easy pattern that gets it done uh, is nice as well. And that's kind of what this is. So we've got the bud in. And now this next part is two part. It is gonna be gold polar chenille, large gold polar chenille. Tie that in here. We'll take about four or five wraps forward, folding as we do. So it's one, two, three, Four, five, there we go. Maybe one more here on this one. Six, there we go. And the next part is the same thing. It's creating the shoulder and we're gonna utilize a sparkle brush in copper color. As we come forward or wrap forward, we also obviously fold on this product or this material. It's two, three, four wines. So we did about five wines with the polar and five, almost five wines with the, with the um, sparkle brush here. And, so in essence, we've created a shoulder um, and not utilizing, uh, not utilizing a um, composite loop. We just utilize pre-made materials to create this shoulder. Comb it out here. Our next step here is to create a platform for our wings to sit on. And, and that platform is gonna be of, of um, Amherst. So we're gonna utilize basically 25 strands of Amherst. And we will tie that in just beyond the length of our shoulder. Wrap forward here and secure some of those butts in. Trim that off. And now we're gonna put on, so we've created a platform to put our wings on that are gonna sit back, facing back here. Um, and now our next step is to put uh, our eyes on. We generally put our eyes on halfway between this material and the eye. Um, and the pattern calls for bead chain eyes. I don't have any right now, so I'm gonna use a dumbbell. I here, secure that in. A little 
we'll figure eight. Okay, so I'll tighten up this vise here. So our next step is to build our wings, and um, and our wings are going to be three part, three colors. First, it's all of Flashaboo, so it's a pretty sparkly fly, if you will, or a flashy fly. And generally, we want to pick out about 40 strands worth of thickness. And uh, I'm going to tie that first black Flashaboo wing in just beyond the end of that um, Amherst there. There. Secure those ends in. Don't have to be too fancy here. There's our first wing set. Then our second wing set will be of green flashaboo. And again, we'll pull out the same amount of material, basically 20 for 40 strands worth. And this wing, this wing will be just a little bit longer than the last one. So we'll build it to, to tie in just a little longer than the last one. little short on material there but that's okay there we go so that wing is just a little bit longer than our black one secure these butts in trim this off here this is a very simple easy pattern to tie at this stage I'm going to utilize some thinning shears and trim that wing so it's not completely even so you don't want all your all your uh, wing material being the exact same thing. It would look a little odd. So there we go. There's our second wing. And our third wing is blue flashaboo. And um, again, we'll utilize about the same amount of material. And this wing will be just a tad longer than the last one. Some of those ends there. Ah, no big deal. Okay, so again, we wanted that um, that wing to be just a tad bit longer than the former ring wing, so we'll trim it off with the thinning shears. We'll probably come back through and do a little trimming on this here shortly. Um, our second to the final stage here, or step here, is to, we'll put our, our collar in. And our collar will be of um, black schloppen. Tied in from the tip and we'll palmer it forward. Obviously, folding back as we do. So 
So this pattern also um, suggests that you utilize the whole stem of the schlop in here. And so as you get to your final turns, you're utilizing the softer, uh, in the old days we used to refer to as the phylloflume section of your of your stem here. And the actual pattern uh, suggests that you utilize this thick, the thick stem with the phylloflume on it. So that's our final turn right there. Utilizing the phylloflume section of the stem. We'll tie it off here. Some trim ends here that are kind of loose or sticking out, no big deal. Okay, and our final step, our final step to this pattern is to add jungle cock eyes. And these are actually pseudo jungle cock eyes by ProTube. Tie one in here on this side. Turn her over and add in the other one here. I'll probably do a little trimming on the on the wings here with the um, shearing scissors. We'll tie this baby off here. And we'll glue the head up and you have a finished product there. BAI, artificial intelligence. Thanks for checking in.